Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Natoya and I'm here to help you start traveling the world. So guys, in this video, I am gonna give you the step-by-step -step guide on how to travel the world when you are broke. When you have no money, but you have a dream destination in mind and you wanna make it happen. So when you have no money, but you have a destination in mind, say Paris or somewhere in Croatia or somewhere in the Caribbean, the answer is not to give up on that dream. The answer is just to figure out a way. And in this video, I am going to give you the exact steps to figure out that way. And here's the disclaimer. Don't worry. I'm not telling you to like go in debt, put the whole trip on your credit card or miss some payments for whatever. I'm not telling you to do anything irresponsible. This will all be done responsibly and not be a headache later on. Before we begin, guys, I have a ton of trip planning resources in the description below, how to make money, how to save money, and lots of trip planning guides and checklists. So be sure to check that out in the description. And this video is a part of my budget traveling, beginner budget traveling playlist, which I'll link above and below. So the first thing you have to do when planning a trip with no money is pick the perfect destination. So the destination will make or break your trip. Some countries are just not doable when you don't have any money. For example, England, they use pounds and the US dollar into pounds is like nothing compared to, let's say, the US dollar to pesos in Guatemala or Kunas in Croatia. So you need to pick the best location to not only make your money go far, but that's overall a, a cheap place to travel around and stay. So if you don't have a destination in mind, what you can do is let skyscanner.com tell you the cheapest place to go. So what you do is you go to skyscanner.com, you enter your airport, you enter the dates you wanna go to. I would suggest putting the whole month and then you put everywhere and then you can see the cheapest places you can fly to. If you do have a destination in mind, let's say Paris, what you can do is enter the airport you're at, enter Paris, and then just put the cheapest month. So you can go to Paris the cheapest time in the year. So this is your best bet to save money on flights because your flight is the most expensive part when traveling. So if you're not sure where you wanna go, Look at your results for the cheapest places and pick about three places that comes up on your search for when you pick everywhere. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a ton of research. You wanna see out of the three, which is the cheapest place for you to go. Just because it's cheap to get there doesn't mean it's gonna be cheap for you to travel around and navigate the country. So for example, there's lots of cheap flights to, pa to Paris, but Paris is not like a cheap country to go to. From New York, there's also cheap flights to like Guatemala, um, Puerto Rico, many places in the Caribbean and uh, Central America. They're both cheap flights, but my money goes way, far, way further in Central America than Europe. So this is what is going to determine which one of those three places you're going to. You can go to a website called numbio.com. You enter the city and then you see how much everything costs. What you're looking for mostly is food and transportation. And then also you can go to airbnb.com and get a rough estimate of how much accommodation will cost. So I made a video all about picking your first international destination as a budget traveler, but even if you've traveled abroad before, this video is still helpful. Make sure, make sure you check it, I'll link it above and below. It's a step-by-step -step guide on picking your destination if you're on a tight budget. Now that you have your destination, now it's time for research, research, research. You need to give yourself at least three months to plan this trip and make it happen. So you already did a little bit of research in the, the first step, just figuring out if this place is actually somewhere you can make happen, if it's somewhere you can do on a budget. So you have a little bit of research, but now it's time to go even more in depth. Here's what you need to know. You need to know, you already know the flight, how much the flight is gonna cost. You need to get exa an exact number of how much your accommodation is gonna cost, uh, travel insurance, uh, vaccination, visa if you need one, your food budget, uh, your in-country transportation, uh, activities, uh, 
things you need to do and what to pack. Now it's time to get the nitty gritty numbers. And I say make sure you do this for three months because you want to get the best deals. You want to do your research and know the things to do in the country, the free things to do, the best things to do, and do it all on a budget. All right, so now that you have this golden number, how are you going to go about funding this trip? So here's some things to do when you don't have any money. So my number one tip is to get freebies from friends and family. Yes, get freebies. So use your birthday, holidays, graduation, any special event to get freebies for your trip. So for example, for your birthday, maybe you can get a new luggage set. Maybe you can get Airbnb credits. Maybe maybe you can get hotels.com credits. Maybe someone can give you um, free miles that they're not using. For example, my mother gave me a $200 gift card for Delta that she had just laying around because she won it or something. Or if you're graduating, you can tell and someone's like, oh, what do you want as your graduation gift? Or what do you want for Christmas? You can say, hey, I'm going on a trip. Can you like cover my travel insurance? So all the research you did is so important because now for this part, you have a list of everything you need and all the costs so you can get some freebies to cover these things. All right, so after you get your freebies, now it's time to bring in some extra money. And it's so easy. We're gonna make this so easy. When I first started traveling and I needed money really bad, I found so many ways to bring in money. And I feel like nowadays it's like even more, even easier to make money. So back when I was like 19, 20, 21, I would do a whole bunch of gigs on Craigslist, like a whole bunch of random things from Craigslist. I would like babysit, I would I clean, I would do so many different things. And mostly just for my family members and friends, I would do things for them. And then again, I would use Craigslist, Craigslist and do a whole bunch of random things, data entry, handing out flyers, so many things. So you can do Uber, you can do DoorDash, Instacart, I know it's endless. There's endless things you can do. This is what I recommend. Make a goal for everything that you're going to do. So for example, say you want to have money to pay for your flight. Pick one of those activities, let's say Instacart, and make sure you make that $400 to pay for your flight. That's what I did when I first started traveling. So for example, I would say I need this $150 so I can pay for my travel insurance and then I need a new bag and this and that. So what am I gonna what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna babysit, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Just make a game plan and then like execute. And the next thing is of course saving some extra money, cutting back. Stop shopping so much, doing your nails. But try to cut out like maybe something big, like going out for drinks every Friday night. Because that same like 40 or 50 dollars you spend going out for drinks, you can save it, you can put it towards your trip. So with those three things, getting freebies and freebies from friends and family, that's a big one. Trust me, that adds up. Making some extra money and saving money, you can definitely fund your trip with no money. Next, let's talk about preparing and packing to go. My number one tip here is to not pack a lot of stuff. Pack as light as you can. You want to avoid fees like a carry-on fee or a check bag fee. And sometimes a big luggage gets in the way and stops you from doing more budget traveling activities like for example if you have a big luggage it's gonna be hard for you to like get on the bus it's gonna be hard for you to walk around with that luggage you, you might just have to take a taxi from, to get from one place to another depending on the length of your trip i would recommend that you get like a travel tote i made a whole video about the 18 best things to travel with and i included that in the video i'll link it above and below but i recommend you just getting a travel tote and trying to stuff as much as you can in there because with a travel tote it might just count as like a personal bag maybe you can get away with that and you wouldn't and it wouldn't count as a carry-on because as you guys probably know by now many airlines are charging you for a carry-on so guys these are the steps you have to take if you want to travel somewhere and you have zero dollars if you're broke this is what you have to do i really hope this video helped Make sure you check out all of the freebies in the description. Make sure you like this video, um, hit the bell notification, 
and leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.